everyone. This is Gail. And I don't know if you've seen any of my videos lately, but I'm kind of on this geometric kick. Um, I, I mentioned in my last video about the um, spirograph. You remember the spirograph? How you used to just draw around and around, and I have these books. I have these books of geometric their uh, shapes, their coloring books, and different things that I, you know, wanted to do. So, in trying to think about what I wanted to do for you guys this week, I got to thinking about another, um, another shape, another, I don't know what you would call it, a romp, rhombus, maybe? But, if you remember... When I made my gingham cane, I had some navy blue, and I mixed it with extra, with equal amounts of white, so I came up with a lighter blue. And what I did for this particular project is I took a little bit of the navy blue, a little blue of the, a little bit of the blended with the white blue, and I added some rhino gray to it to kind of give it a dusty look. Because I want it to have a shadowy effect. And in I've got one of the Sculpey... I don't have the name of it. One of the Sculpey miniature um, uh, cutter sets has a tri uh, diamond shape cutter in it. So that's what I'm going to use. And hopefully that will work for what I want to do. But I threw away the cover because I just store it in my drawer that way. But I'm going to start off, and this is clay all rolled to the number three. I'm going to need one of each color. So I'm going to start with the main color. And I'm going to use... Maybe, no, that's probably not going to be enough. I need something that will push this out without it misshaping it. I could dip it in cornstarch. If I was doing this on my, um, on my tile, it would stick to the tile and it, I wouldn't have this problem. But let me show you what I'm going for. Oh, now that one's stuck. I'm going to take these three and I'm going to turn them into a box. Now if you put these together this way, see that looks like a box. Let me find, let me use my little card thingy. Just straighten the sides so that they're even. And there's your little box. Now you can have your main color on top. You can have the blue color, light blue on top. But the, this one just needs to be one of the sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make several of these and put them together and just go ahead and cut several. Now I'm, I chose blue only because I already had these colors blended except for the one with the gray. You can choose any color you want. You can use white and gray and black. You can use rainbow colors, just about anything. And let me just get these cut, and we'll put them together and just show you how neat it looks. You can use this for a uh, cuff bracelet. It would look really nice on a cuff bracelet. Hopefully this one will still stick. Oh, nope, it didn't. 
I knew my luck was running out. But it's really simple to do once you understand the idea. So let's put another one together. And be sure you put them together in the same sequence. And like I said did before, you can take a little credit card or the side of your blade anything that you've got that's straight and just kind of straighten it up and put them side by side and I'll do one more just to show you And of course, you can take a little bit more time than I am for the video. I'm trying to do it as quick as I can. And then this one would fit up here. Can you see that? Looks like a stack of boxes. And all you're doing is putting together these little diamond shapes. And once you get these going, It's easier to add. It's just getting the very beginning is a little mind boggling, but you know, at our age, we need something to stimulate our brain, and this would certainly do it. And you might have to tweak them a little bit. This one needs to move just a hair. which means this one needs to move just a hair. And I'll do the last one. I'm not going to do a whole bunch. I'm just going to do these five. But this same theory would apply to any colors that you use. Use the main color then the main color mixed with the same amount of white to come up with a pastel color. And then take a little, the same amount of each one of these and mix gray to it to come up with this shadowy color. And then when you put them together, again, just make sure that you've got all your colors going in the same direction. Then I would take a piece of deli wrap or wax paper or whatever and I would burnish with my fingers or you could take the end of your your rod your roller and just burnish just remember to pick this up every once in a while so, or so you don't get wrinkles There you go. Isn't that neat? And you can finish, you can do a whole big sheet of these and then put them on a bangle bracelet. Um, then and you could make one box just for like an earring. These bowed out a little bit when I burnish. You wouldn't normally burnish until you're finished with all of your pieces. 
but you burnish so that they stick together good all these seams stick together but there you go i think i i just think this is awesome so i'm sorry if you're not into geometry let me come in a little bit so you can just see what this looks like look at that i just think that's so cute and all of it it's the same shape with three different colors and it looks like a stack of boxes so if you like that you know try it with different colors um i've seen it done with rainbows matter of fact here's one I was looking for color, pictures of things. There's one done in rainbows and made into a bracelet. You know, it's just so many things you can do. But I just wanted to show you the basic so that you can take this and create your own design. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back again next Monday with another polymer clay video. Thanks. Bye-bye.